We are a community of five different academic programs and majors, civil and environmental engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, naval architecture, and marine engineering, and we have a brand new cyber systems major. Our strong point, and where I think we're, we really are distinctive from many other schools, not only our missions and our ability to serve humanity and to engage in Coast Guard national and global challenges, is that we're a small, student-focused, mission-oriented institution. I wanted to come to the Coast Guard Academy specifically because I wanted a chance to serve. Some of the barriers I perceived were the, just the general difficulty. Electrical engineering is often talked about as one of the harder majors here at the academy, and I was concerned that I didn't have the background from high school. Thankfully, I was wrong. All the teachers are very understanding, and you start out at a very, very basic level, so everyone gets a chance to build the same foundation. My capstone project is uh, hybrid vessel propulsion. One of the things we've been researching throughout the year is uh, the different ideas that industry has done to try to combat global warming, so different hybrid technologies to utilize to make greener emissions and greener energy. The motivation for studying these hybrid vessels is that uh, the International Maritime Organization is making emission standards a lot tighter, and the Coast Guard, being a regulatory body, needs to understand the ins and outs of these vessels to create the correct standards for them. I think the cyber systems major at the Coast Guard Academy is really multidisciplinary. So it's not just about the STEM majors, it incorporates policy, it incorporates how cyber affects societies and commerce and the Coast Guard. Cyber systems is used in the real world in terms of how we're operating as a unit how the cutters are being run. Instead of everything being more hardware-based, it's a lot more connected, because with the growth of IoT, the Internet of Things, a lot more people are connected to the Internet. Everything has an IP address, so we just need to be more conscious as officers of like how we're using technology. And I'm excited, because once I go into the Coast Guard, I'm able to have different career options. I could either go into the policy side, or I can apply cyber and CG Cyber Command or just apply it when working as an officer and making sure everyone's using proper cyber hygiene. And even in the private industry, I'm excited to see what cyber can do and what we can build on. My experience in civil engineering has been unique to say the least. I came into this major thinking that it was specific to one thing, whether it be dealing with structures such as bridges or building roads playing with dirt and soils class, making concrete, just opened up my eyes to see that there's more to civil engineering than people think. My current assignment is on Coast Guard Cutter Stone as the student engineer. On board, some of my responsibilities are as the uh, auxiliary division officer and the training officer. What I love most about being on Coast Guard Cutter Stone is that I get to operate one of the newest Coast Guard assets, a national security cutter, and they get to travel the world and fulfill the Coast Guard missions at the same time. Coast Guard needs our engineers to be able to tackle really modern and sophisticated problems. We're trying to use technology to do our mission better. So being able to implement that in the field and being able to find better solutions to new problems that we're facing, be it with drug interdiction or life saving or marine pollution and environmental response, all of those things require new and cutting edge technology to solve those problems. And so for us, for engineers, we're trying to bring that to the Coast Guard. How can we bring that new technology to bear and use it more efficiently? We believe that engineers for the future, they should uh, be able to uh, understand global trends, they should be culturally aware, they should be able to adapt, they should be able to innovate and take on leadership roles. So we try to focus on creating a balance between theory and practical courses. And so we, we expose students to the fundamentals of engineering practice and also enable them to get a, a global dimension of the courses they take. I think what the ASWE Diversity Initiative does is it really lays a foundation for leadership and as Coast Guard officers, but also as technical experts taking on global challenges. You can't have innovation without being able to come together seamlessly 
in teams from diverse backgrounds. We know that that is the secret to true innovation, and we want our graduates to take that into their careers when they leave here and to really infuse that healthy to innovative framework throughout the Coast Guard and throughout their lives.